Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to do an overview of this Mac script that I wrote. Um, I wrote it for uh, Rumble Roses Double X. Um, the only thing about that is um, it's a exclusive Xbox 360 game. So if you're interested in modding it, you're going to have to work on the Xbox 360. Okay. Now this Mac script, what it allows you to do is uh, bring in your model and it will allow you to move the positions of the vertices and then you can save those changes or those positions back to your your model file for the game all right so it doesn't allow for full editing it's just a simple vertex editing tool okay um, so yeah I would I consider it kinda like a um, simple modification thing uh, let's say let's give a, a real world example let's say we have a character model in a game right and maybe the character has some stupid um, accessory on on it or something like maybe a funny looking hat right you're like, I want to get rid of that funny looking hat because that hat's stupid. So you import your model and you can select the vertices for that hat and you can shrink them. You can't delete anything, okay? You can't delete it. But you can shrink it so you can't see it anymore. Maybe conceal it somewhere. But there you go. You can hide a piece of geometry that way. Uh, you can also do s some other stuff like, you know, just simple uh, reshaping things like that. And you can do so small, simple uh, model edits that way. So it's not the best. But it is a solution so that we can do uh, modding beyond texture modding. Okay, so that's what the script is. So I'm just going to cover the GUI and you know the feature set that you get with the script, um, so that you can work with it a bit easier. Okay, so full, full off, we have it broken up into three major sections. You load a file, then you can import it, or you can update to it. Okay, so once the file is loaded, that means you can write to it which means you can make it corrupted which means before you open up anything what do you do you make a backup so make sure you make a backups of all your files before you start editing them it's kind of common sense so let's open up a model file <clears throat> I'm just gonna go all files because the DLC models are given the extension YMEXN or something and the disk files are called what is it Y OB I don't know confusing right let's open up that one that I made a copy of open and so now so yeah now I can import or I can update if I update something will happen because there's nothing there right yeah so we're gonna have to import obviously so let's import something and BAM I don't know what that is it's um, the little kimono, kimono girl or whatever so let's just bring that up there and so there's our object it happens almost instantaneously the script is toggled in such a way that it's very streamlined it's made to be a vertex editor, so it imports the mo the model and just the model. And, and when you update the file, it just updates the positions. Okay, but it's not limited to just vertex positions. You can also do texture vertices, vertex normals, and vertex weights. Okay, so <clears throat> it's kind of robust in that way, and I'll kind of go. Th I'll get to that later. Okay, let's just cover the toggles that we have for imports. Um, the first one is clear scene. Now this is here just to be kind of dummy proof. Um, each object contains um, some file information that is used by the script to be able to write it back into the file correctly. So if you were to change any part of the name, you'll corrupt your file. I almost guarantee your file would be bad if you edit the name of your object. Okay. Now, what does 3ds Max do if it has objects with the same name? It renames it. It wants unique names, right? So let's create a copy of this thing just to demonstrate here. I've created a copy of this object. Okay, what's its name? If I go to the end, it says Bone Limit 5. Bone Limit 5. What's the original say? Bone Limit 4. So it's increased an integer value, which will corrupt the data in your file when you save it back. Okay, don't make copies. Okay, don't duplicate stuff. Okay, that is why Clear Scene is enabled. And what, what does Clear Scene do? It just deletes everything in the scene prior to importing from the file. So if I create a box here and I import, it's going to be gone. Okay. So be that be very aware of this option here. It's there to be dummy proof, but as well it's dangerous because let's say I've been working on this box for five hours and I accidentally hit this button. Oh my god, it's gone. It's too late. You can't go back. Okay. So uh, be careful with what you're doing around here. Okay. Next is geometry. It's simple. If you turn it off, you don't get geometry. Uh, you can hit import a million times. Uh, skeleton and geometry. Oh wow, you get skeleton, you get bones, and geometry. Self-explanatory. 
Uh, vertex weights. I'm not going to demonstrate this. It works, but what it does is it takes import incredibly longer to do. Um, if you import just a model, it'll take I don't know a couple seconds. If you import with vertex weights, meaning your character will be rigged to the skeleton, it could take you upwards of five minutes. I've I've had on a couple. So it's disabled because you would only re you would only enable it anyway if you're going to do some advanced editing with the skin weights. It's not not really frequently done, okay? And you would do it in stages anyway. You would uh, leave it to the end, usually. So by default, that's turned off, right? No big deal. Uh, so let's just import this again. Okay. So that's it for import. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, now let's look at the injection or the updating part, the save back to the file, okay? Um, again, this is all made to be very selective. So you can, you can uh, update or save back the vertex positions, Okay, you don't have to, you can turn it off and just update the uh, texture coordinate information, or maybe you just want to do vertex normals, okay? Now, I'm assuming you know what those, all this stuff means, okay? Vertex positions, I'm assuming you know what that means. Texture coordinates, I assume you know what it means. Vertex normals, I assume you know what it means. And weights, I'm all going off assumptions. But if you have no freaking idea, um, texture coordinates control how a texture is mapped onto an object. Uh, vertex normals control how light bounces off a surface of an object. Vertex weights are the um, vertex influences, uh, how a bone influences a vertex based on its deformation. Okay, so when you animate the skeleton, the mesh follows with that based on the weight values. Okay, so that's what that does. So you can update all that stuff. It's made to be very robust. You can do it in layers. You can do it in uh, uh, however order you want to do it. Okay. So let's do a simple demonstration here. So let's uh, let's say we want to edit both of these uh, weird flappy things, right? So let's select both of them. Oh crap! Wait, where's my thing? If you select one, you can edit the vertices. Yeah, okay. But if you select two, oh, I don't have it, right? Not a big deal. You're gonna add a edit mesh modifier, and then I'll allow you to treat those two objects uh, sort of as a single object, so you can edit the vertices at the same time. Okay. So let's uh, just move this over here, okay? So it's just got a longer thingy, okay? Uh, now, <clears throat> if I want to export or update back to the file, I must turn on vertex positions, okay? And I also have to have both these objects selected, okay? If I don't select both of them and hit update, nothing will happen, all right? So to demonstrate, if I just select one and I update, okay, I re-import. Uh-oh, I forgot to update that one. So you gotta be careful, okay? Um, before you hit import, make sure you, you update your whole thing. I would go as far as just selecting everything and just updating it, just to make sure, but um, I'll, I'll explain again why that's a bad idea. Actually, I'll explain right now. <clears throat> well, in a minute, actually. Um, so let's just bring this back. Uh, we'll update this. Thank you. All right, so um, yeah, so like I was saying, there's um, another feature here that I haven't actually touched base with, which is by vertex selection. Now, what this does is it gives you an extra layer of selectability um, beyond just selecting an object, because if you select an object, everything in that object will get written back, right? But what if you don't want to write a little part of that model back? What if you want to avoid writing it back? So we add vertex selection. So this requires you to add a edit normals modifier. Doesn't matter if it's a single object or more. Okay, so let's add a edit mesh modifier. All right. Now anything inside this modifier that's selected in red, the vertices I mean, will be updated. So let's uh, select all this stuff here and drag it away. And we're only going to highlight half of it. Okay. Now with the object selected, I can hit update file, and when I re-import you'll see that only that stuff that was selected in red, or highlighted rather, was updated or written back to the file. So why is this important? Why do you need that? Well, if you look here, the head is missing. OMG, why is the head missing? Well, the game just separates the head and the, the body so you can swap bodies, okay? The thing is, the original artist had designed the models, or the bodies of the models, to, to fit and work with the head. So if you modify anything around in this region, like the weights, the normals or anything else, you're going to see breaks or seams or tears around the neck of the official head. Okay, and you might not want that to happen. 
So what do you do to avoid that? So you can do all your editing, your UV editing, your uh, normal editing, weight editing, okay? And what you can do is add or slap on a edit mesh modifier on top of all that crap. Select everything and then deselect around the neck. And what that'll do is it'll ensure that this data is not written over so that it's kept original to the original model. And so that there's, uh, it's ensuring that the data does not have any like tears or seams or anything okay so that's the importance of that feature okay of course there's another feature here I didn't touch base with which is bounce here just keep that enabled it doesn't really do much it just recalculates the sphere of the whole object which I don't think really matters but um, just keep it on it doesn't really affect anything okay um, and so yeah there you go um, that's how you can vertex edit your model okay uh, one other thing to just point out here, there's a little section here called packing. I'm not going to cover that in this video. It has to deal with the DLC specifically, and um, there's no real application to the model itself, so there's no point in reviewing it. Okay, So there you go. That is the vertex editor or vertex injector or whatever you want to call it for Rumble Roses XX. And uh, happy modding, guys.